Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Edo State Assembly alleged new speaker pays visit to police commissioner's office. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. A very, very big thank you to every one of you who are massively supportive. We appreciate you. Please don't forget to like us, uh, to give us a thumbs up if this is your first time, and don't forget to subscribe. A lot of drama has happened in the last 24 hours in a do state, all leading to the elections. Yes, uh, we heard that um, allegedly the 14 lawmakers that have not been inaugurated have secretly been inaugurated at some uh, some secret uh, venue that nobody's really aware of. We don't know who inaugurated them. And we're also hearing now that um, the new speaker, we knew initially it was Frank, but we are hearing now the alleged information we're getting now that the new speaker has visited the commissioner of police. But however, guys, let's get into the news and get all the details. Edo State Assembly alleged new speaker pays visit to police commissioner's office. The alleged newly elected faction, factional speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Victor Edaro, on Thursday, led a delegation of other lawmakers on a courtesy visit to the Edo Police Commissioner John Sen Babatunde. Honorable Edaro of Asan Central Constituency was announced speaker today in a panel session attended by 17 lawmakers. Why Honorable Emmanuel Agbejo of Akoko Edo Constituency 2 was elected deputy speaker. The emergence panel plenary section held at a private location impeached Honorable Frank Okoye and Roland Asoro as speaker and deputy speaker respectively and nullified all previous action taken by the Seventh Assembly. At the visit to the first headquarters in Benin City, the police commissioner pledged the support of his office and that of the Edo State Police Command under his watch to the newly inaugurated lawmakers in Edo Assembly. Earlier in the day, 14 lawmakers elected were first sworn in and then, together with other three lawmakers who recently pledged their allegiance to Usage Ize Yamu of the All Progressive Congress APC, impeached the Speaker and his deputy. The Edo State House of Assembly has been embroiled in a crisis since 2019, one that has now been worsened by the build-up to the governorship election in the state. 24 lawmakers were elected from the 24 constituency during the 2019 general election. However, only 10 of them were inaugurated on July 17th of the same year, speaking a controversy that included intervention from the National Assembly. Five of the ten lawmakers that were inaugurated included Deputy Speaker Yekini and declared support for Ize Iyamu last week, after which he was accused of Governor Gordon Obaseki and in legal process struck out in the state and it's still ongoing. So people, this is what has happened in the last 24 hours in Edo State. We don't know exactly what is happening. We don't know. This, we heard that um, those lawmakers were taken to an unknown disclosure a place where they had been, you know, inaugurated. And um, these people, why the deputy speaker and the speaker were not there, have uh, impeached the speaker of the house. We don't know. Uh, later today, as the day uh, um, uh, unfolds, we will get to know more with regards to what is going on, everything with regards to this issue. Well, they do state this is what is happening at the moment. This is where we are. Uh, paying visits and um, we're hearing now that this um, new uh, inaugurated people has paid visits to the police commissioner in the state. Well, all this we can see there's a build up towards the 
election, you know, they are doing everything possible to frustrate Governor Godwin or Baseki in every way possible that they can to make sure that, you know, and uh, you, know, we, you know, the whole issue with this thing, eh, there is no hiding place. Before now, everybody has been hearing that this, there was this plan already. And funny enough, you won't believe it, the governor of uh, Imo State has been entangled in all of this. He left all of the, all of the East to come to the South. To be, I don't get it. You see, we don't get it totally but a lot is going on and as the day unfolds please stay tuned to us we'll be keeping you informed with all that is going on with regards to this matter yes we saw yesterday that by the time they woke up in the morning uh policemen and a uh, heavily armed policemen were all over the house of uh, of assembly and um, everybody was wondering what was going on people of a do state were just watching and we're just on looking like what is really going on here this election, I can tell you, is is fierce. It's a different ball game altogether. This election is a place where I mean people are watching I mean with keen interest and wondering what is really going on here you know it's like it's almost like a do or die affair but yes a very quick word of caution and advice please please advise your sons and daughters please advise your nephews your niece please tell them not to carry arms not to involve themselves in any form of violence see they should stay and take care of themselves I am telling you it is the person Person that is alive that can go to court and say you are fighting for justice. So when you are gone, you are gone. Hmm. Look at what happened at the palace of the Oba of Benin. Look at what happened. Governor Gordon Obaseki came to greet the Oba with visitors. And guess what? They started shooting theoretically just around the palace of the Oba of Benin. The same day that the Oba newborn baby was being, uh, you know, uh, uh, named Christian. The same day, the same day. Supposing that bullet has touched, can you imagine? And guess what? Bullet touched people. You know, they said one of the AK-47 bullet touched somebody in the bomb. Yes. Pastor People that are passing by sustain different degree of injuries. This is exactly what happened in Edo State. Exactly what happened. Well, Nigerians, hmm, please stand up, and uh, especially Edo State, and stand up for what is right. Don't allow anyone to intimidate you at all in any way, form, or kind. Don't allow it to. Hmm. This election, they want to put, impose on you at all costs, who they want you don't it's like they are saying to you you don't have a choice that is what we are saying here like we will have to impose this person on you and adam so shomole i can't believe it it's like it's a do or die affair i don't get it at all this election guys please eh, defend your vote but please don't do it with violence please eh, please Anyway, guys, this is what is happening. We are keeping you, keeping you real and we are keeping you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world with regards to this election. Please make sure that you are safe. Eh? Please be safe, first of all. To be alive is the most important thing. Just make sure that you look after yourself and your loved ones. Mm, please they just want to threaten people and make sure they don't come out ha huh, this is serious anyway god bless you have a good day bye for now